Hey guys, thanks for tuning on back in. I'm Imperial Jedi, and this is the third episode in our new player guide. And honestly, thanks for making your way over here. It means a lot to me. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. We've had a lot of a uh, lot of stuff planned for this episode. Hopefully, we can get it all done. And of course, if not, we can just move it on over to episode number four. We've got a lot of these plans, so don't feel like we're trying to rush anything. Okay, so for this episode, what I really want to do is because um, I was kind of exploring the lay of the land, and we unfortunately don't have any bodies of water on this map that will support um, kind of a shipping corridor. Portion of the river just doesn't work, and these are all closed off lakes, so nowhere for the ships really to go or come from. Um, so what we have to do now instead is rely on the highway and the rail a little bit more to um, kind of get goods in and out of our city, which is not a bad thing, it just means we have to kind of plan properly for this. Because the train tracks, they're pretty easy to get kind of, um, you know, bunched up with lots of trains waiting. It may happen to us, but we'll, we'll do our best to kind of avoid that. But my plan for this episode is, like, we've already unlocked a new um, area, so let's oops, let's purchase that right now. I wanted to buy this one right here, and my logic for that is we have this nifty little kind of cool bend in the highway we can work with, so we can have, like, an interchange that kind of comes, say, like, right around here. We've got access to the rails now, and what's really neat is this area here, it's pretty, uh, like, you know, it's dense forest, and we've got a little bit of farming. So we can start setting up some specialized industrial zones over here. Maybe even like across the river, this can be like a small town. And then, yeah, actually we can make this a small industrial town. Because my goal was not necessarily to grow this, even though we have a lot of demand. Um, I maybe want to convert this over to office space eventually. But I want to start doing, yeah, new industry over here. Just so we can kind of keep the highway almost like, um, kind of like our barrier between the city and anyone that's kind of polluting. And yeah, eventually we'll create like a big buffer zone of offices over here. We'll kind of beef up the trees and stuff, but yeah, it look, look kind of cool. We're kind of stuck though with this until we unlock the incinerator, just because the landfill, like I was saying in the previous episode, it's just, it's kind of stuck where it is, unfortunately. All right, enough chit chat. Let's uh, jump on in. Uh, before we start moving over here though, I do want to uh, maybe put a few things down over here just so we can get some residents moving in. Um, I know we don't really have a demand for that, but I'm I'm positive the second we start putting some factories and stuff down, this will skyrocket, so let's get ready for that ahead of time. And I was kind of thinking over here, we could possibly use a new highway interchange, or it looks like we're maybe kind of trending towards that with the way the roads are kind of getting set up. And so what I mean by that is this can possibly come down as like a straight road, and then we can have an oversized roundabout right here, so that can kind of connect. And then we can have a bridge go over top of the highway, have another roundabout or just a regular intersection over here and then just create on off ramps and then for here i was thinking we could maybe drop another avenue down say like that and then like that would come in and then the roundabout would be like you know an oversized one right here oh, that's kind of cool all right well let's you know let's just actually let's start with that that actually came together rather nicely i think maybe that's enough room and space and you can see the highway doesn't quite line up 100% with what we're after. I don't really think that's that much of an issue. We can possibly change it if we really feel like it looks terrible. We do happen to have these unlocked, but I'm not that worried. All right, so we're cooking on our one-way road. We're going to switch over to our curved road now. And this is how you do a different type of roundabout. If you want, just for simplicity, there are the ones within the game. You can just use these for like pure speed, which is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if you want like a custom-sized one... Um, this is how you would do it. So just like when we're drawing our regular roads, we're using our little line here, the 10 unit thing for our marker. So like that's five units. That's six units, which I think is what we're going for. So same idea. It appears at five, move it up to six. Hopefully get this right. Okay, great. So roundabout is in, and um, I'll show you guys something too that may happen to you, and I don't think a lot of people kind of touch on on this. Um, if you're drawing a roundabout and you have roads that are leaving, and you're leaving on your snap point, you can kind of see here it's smooth and then suddenly just snap right there. If you're leaving from here, you won't run into any issues at all with the shape. Yeah, the roundabout slightly changed shape a little bit there. It keeps the more or less circular state when you use your snap points. If you connect a road that's not on the snap point, it warps your entire roundabout, which is not fun. Nobody wants that. So let me show you guys the fix really quickly here. 
So let me hopefully rebuild this. I'll do this a bit faster. Hopefully. Perfect. Okay, back in action. So to preserve the in or the shape of your roundabout, just draw kind of like a cross shape or like a plus sign kind of thing, I guess, through the um, through the roundabout itself. And then now when we connect our roads to it, it preserves the um, the shape. So fun little trick here. You might sometimes find that you're running into yeah, see how that doesn't line up perfectly. So maybe sometimes it won't work like a hundred percent of the time, but we can improvise, right? So that would be for that side. And now let's, um, we'll keep the internal um, parts like that, but let's um, make ourselves a bridge and everything here. And so yeah, for these roads, I go 12 meters usually. And it's for the, um, like the smaller, uh, skinnier roads. Those ones I do nine meters. And I'm going uh, for a smooth drop, which is why we're doing a little bit of a longer one here like that transition and this could be a roundabout or it could be um, a set of lights and um, on off ramp type thing I think we're gonna do a small roundabout because there's no one really else over here so it'd be kind of frustrating if you're a motorist and you have to wait for a traffic light and there's like no one there that's like one of my pet peeves I hate that in real life so let's go four as our size here so there's that line so that's four. I'm elevating it slightly so that we can have not too crazy of a slope for the roundabout. So it's kind of like a bit of extra action happening here. And this, if you're unsure of the height, do this at a side profile. I'm just doing a little bit of guesswork at the same time here. And generally what you did on one side, you'll have to do the opposite on the other. So I went up by two clicks, went down by two clicks type thing. And close that off, and there we go. So that works for me. And we could use um, two lane road, or we could use highway road, highway on off ramp. I don't really think it matters that much. Okay, so let's just come in like that. One thing we want to make sure we have, though, is a smooth transition between yeah there we go because you want the cars to kind of get up to speed and so by that logic maybe this last little stretch right here this could become um highway on ramp so that the speed is higher that's kind of nice with the bridge like that too and so let's try to do something similar on this side so there's a snap point which is why we don't have to worry about drawing the inner roads You know, not perfect, but we're going for more or less the same kind of look. And that's actually pretty... That's pretty good right there. And you want to think, just like in real life, you don't really have too sharp of a turn going off the highway. Ideally, what you'd have is kind of like a road that kind of, you know, runs alongside that has the extra lane. And, but you don't really get too many of those options in this game. But the main thing, though, is you want to make sure your angles are kind of correct. So we'll keep that two-lane traffic there we go so a new on off system right there and we now need the corresponding side on this side of the highway and I'll show you guys quite a few different types of interchanges as the um, as the city kind of goes on shape out a little bit here it's going for a little bit of symmetry just enough that it, if you do look overhead it kind of looks nice and these ones here I just left as highway road I think those bridges look nicer like that but again personal preference whatever you guys like maybe that can even be changed but I think we're okay for the moment and so now we delete these inner rows because we don't need them that gets rid of the traffic lights Everything is smooth. Perfect. Very nice. And then we'll monitor traffic just to make sure everyone is, you know, 
not bumping into each other, that kind of stuff. Because this could be a little bit chaotic, just the way these are, these are coming in. But I think we're okay. All right, so let's zone up uh, what we got right here, and let's switch over to our industrial zone. Start work over there. All right. And then, like I was saying about um, drawing some curved roads through your city, you want to make sure that you're doing that in a way that it doesn't make the city look like it's kind of like out of place, or that new neighborhood is out of place. So we can gently start working in a curve. And then for that, we can just literally just go any which way we want type thing. It just has to match more or less the same kind of style as what we've been working on already with the city. So we'll try and incorporate that into a bit of a boxier shape. Because you don't want your city to end up looking like it's kind of like a fusion city. Where it's like three or four cities like mangled together type thing. There's some cleanliness to do that. That's kind of cool. Make that a little bit of a wider road. I think when we get the uh, crematorium... Oh, actually, we have... Um, we can still move this. No one in our city has died yet. How interesting. <laughs> okay, that can move right there. That's a very interesting statistic. Alright, let's move our school. I'm just doing this anticipating some uh, more traffic to kind of come through here. There we go. And then just to get rid of all of these lights, what I think we're going to do is maybe put a little road right here and then make this a one-way coming inward. And that just gets rid of that traffic light. Okay. And we have our one-way roads that are still hanging out with us. So these can go like that. Yeah, that's cool. These are just like a nice little fast, fun way to get around town, basically. And we'll just have a few more. Okay, so that wants to curve, it looks like. Similar to the other one. And since we have some more high density, um, not high density, we have some more wider roads in this neck of the woods, we can start using uh, this area here for a high density upgrade when... Um, when the time comes for that. And I think that's okay. If we maybe go like this. Yeah. I'm not trying to make our streets too busy. Perfect. And just a little 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 curve on that street should look nice yeah there we go so a nice little curved addition that little part's a little bit interesting okay let's zone this up you can see our um, demand is really moving towards industry which is great we really do want to you know aggressively expand over there and maybe put in a custom um, little zone get some forestry happening okay so some quick zoning. We still have room for some more neighborhoods. We'll obviously put those in probably next episode, though. You can see our demand. It's really, it's just for industry. We're kind of getting ourselves set up for when, like, I imagine even if we just do, like, yeah, just a few blocks of industrial zoning, then our, our you know, residential demand will skyrocket, right? So and we obviously need to bring, like, power and, and that kind of stuff over here, too. And I do want to put down some parks and, and a whole bunch of other things too. So, but we're just going to be doing a very fast um, job of that. Oops. Okay. basically zoned up how I want it to be. 
We are going to have to put in, it looks like, a second set of pumps and um, a water outflow pipe, which is no problem. Kind of knew that was happening one day. Our pipes are just a little, a little crooked here, but that's okay. There we go. Crooked in our favor. Okay, I'm going to try and spread the power by putting down some parks and everything without necessarily having to use um, electrical wires through here. We very easily could, though. Like, don't, don't get me wrong with that. But just so that we don't have to worry about removing them later type thing. There we go. I'll take that. <laughs> All right. That's kind of cool too. I like the way that just zoned in that little triangle spot. Um, all right, so let me just drop down a few schools, this and that, and we'll start with our industrial zone. I really don't think we're going to get um, a lot of it done, unfortunately, but we'll definitely get started. And this could get redundant, but I still like putting these together. want to make sure we're not neglecting any of our, uh, our services or anything like that. Okay, I'm probably going to put a second cemetery in over here, just so we have better coverage. And we're unfortunately running out of money here. Probably could use another one of these. So let's put it on three speed, just so we can get a little bit more money coming in. That's a nice spot for that. And I would like a... Um, a fire station to come down. And I think those are 12,000? Yes, 12,000. All right, well, let's take a look at our budget. Maybe we can take out a loan or something. Oh, yes, we can. Great. Let's see, yeah, just a fire station sit down here. Oh, awesome. All right, so some new specialization, which is pretty cool. Some new in-town policies, some more road options. And we have some uh, bigger service buildings. Oh, great. So the city moving along and a nice big cash and uh, injection as well. That's kind of what I was sort of secretly hoping for that we'd get. Um, I'm going to pause the game. And let's just kind of sneak a peek at what we unlocked. I just put down a new medical um, clinic, so I think we're fine. We'll hold off on the hospital for the moment. And we do have our helicopter fire depot. And I think this is just with the um, Natural Disasters DLC. So if you guys don't have those, totally no, no sweat. And then same with the Firewatch Tower. It could just be with a Natural Disasters DLC. And, you know, these were just, like I've seen before, are going to work in kind of tandem to keep an eye on forest fires. But your helicopter depots will fight fires in town as well. So they're pretty convenient in that sense. They just need to be close to a body of water because the helicopter has to take off, you know, go fill its bucket with water, and then go fight the fire. So... We'll probably make ourselves, like, maybe on even on the island or something, like a little, um, uh, kind of like, yeah, like emergency services kind of rescue zone or something. Some utilities and stuff with it. So, bigger police station, um, nothing new right there. And, uh, bigger fire station, too. I almost forgot to mention that. And, uh, yeah, okay, let's, um, let's keep the game running on one speed, because I do, like I said, want this to zone in the background. Hopefully some people will get close to this, um, in terms of power. Maybe we can just put another park in. One right there. And we can <clears throat> maybe drop down a botanical gardens right here. There we go. That spreads the power. Excellent. And as far as this goes, let's just start laying some of the basic framework so that probably for next episode, we can just kind of jump in and just kind of go with it. So what I would like is for this street right here to come over as a bridge and become a interchange as well. And then as a, a supplement for traffic, I want this just to become a bridge and have no um, connection to the highway. And these ones, a height of 12 meters. 
And again, the highway might be a little bit crooked relative to the um, you know shape of our city. I don't let that stress me too much. You can see it's just a little bit crooked. Possibly what we might do when we buy the next tile over is we could demolish the highway from here and then from here. And we can put in a different interchange if we wanted to. We could try our hand at making our own, make a big oversized one. And then we can just redraw some of these uh, support roads. But I'm not really going to stress about that just yet. But we're just going to do this just for the moment. And then for the sake of symmetry, we'll kind of have our roads maybe go from there. We'll do the same thing over here. Instead, what I'm going to do is um, we'll go up from that side. Oh, a troublemaker, huh? There we go. Double bridge, perfect. And what we could even do is have our on-off ramps um, connect directly to these roads, just so they don't have to um, flood an intersection. Well, let's just get the basics of this down right now. We don't have to worry about the bridge being too tall for a um, for a boat, or too short for a boat, I should say. So let's do that. We can probably clean those sides up a little bit. A little bit smoother. Just terraform a little bit right here really quickly. Oh. And so what I did right there is I clicked on this one. I right clicked to do a height and then when I push now everything is... Um, so yeah, I right click to set the height, I left click and then whatever I come into contact with sets it at that height. So it's just a fast way to move some earth out of the way. And then we're left with like a smoother bridge transition right here. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we could do like the littlest amount of bridge right here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Perfect. And so, yeah, my plan would be, um, let's set up the first of our specialized zones over here. So we can have, actually, let's bring that a little bit further back. And we'll use one of these roads. There we go. Okay. I'm just thinking a couple wider roads just for the sake of having some some more access right now. There we go. Cool. That one look like that. I think that should maybe be curved as well in the other way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks better. Let's spread that out just a little bit more. There we go. And then maybe what we could even do is have um that be so does that go under? No, come on. It'd be awesome if we can get that to go underneath. I switched to the smooth kind of tool to like just kind of make the transitions a little bit softer looking. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. 
Okay, so what we can have over here is uh, some mixed industry. So we can have like factories and stuff over in this spot. And I'm going to zone it all at once, actually. And then we'll put in the district after, just to get the specialization. But I'm going to put forestry in and around where the dirt roads are, just for fun. And we're going to want just a little bit of shopping. Okay, neat. So let's bring over our power lines. It does look like we actually need um, a new power plant. So this is something just to be aware of. I'll put it on three speed just so we can purchase one really quickly. I don't think we have. Yeah, we're not even close to that. Okay, so power. Perfect. Water. Still got to buy that too. Much to do, much to do. Okay, that's that very quickly. And we just need a little bit more water production. Okay, so I'll just let the power hold off for a second. Let me just show you guys how to do the districts and the specialization. And that'll kind of be the last thing, so I don't want to go too much over. So I'm going to draw a district over here. And if we want, what we can do to make it look even cleaner is we can snap it to the roads. And so this part can be our forestry sector. Maybe even one stretch of the street up here. There we go. Perfect. So we have our, our shape, we now click on district specialization, and then we're going to click on our forestry, and then now all the buildings are going to come in forestry related, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave us off right here, we unfortunately have got a lot to do, and we are unfortunately out of time, but that's okay, we've got the next episode to work on this. So let's put a power plant actually over here, let's actually do that a little closer to where the highway is going to be. There we go. All right, guys, so thanks for hanging out. I will see you in the next episode. And of course, I can upload this to the workshop so you guys can have access to it in case you see any changes you'd like to make type thing. And uh, totally feel free to suggest some stuff along the way. A lot of you have been doing that, and I appreciate it so far. And uh, yeah, guys, all the comments so far have been wonderful, so keep them up. Thanks for hanging out, and subscribe if you haven't already. And goodness gracious me, we have a fire over here. Let's make sure we get some fire coverage in this neck of the woods. My oh my, lots to deal with. Alright guys, take care of yourselves. I'm Imperial Jedi, this has been episode 3, and I will see you guys in the next one.